The City of Fort Myers has supported new and early stage businesses by providing a location and technical assistance to new business owners. Tenants also have access to free business consulting, professional receptionist office, free Wi-Fi, two conference rooms, a large training room, copier and fax. Many new businesses now operating successfully have had their start at the Southwest Florida Enterprise Center. If you have a business idea, call 239-321-7085 and come join us. Welcome back to CTV One uh, Pillars of Success. I'm your host, W.R. Sparrow Jr. Again, we have Miss Melissa Benson with Stretch official stretch it out mm -hmm. enterprise i left official off because there's a <laughs> fake one out there no, it's okay <laughs> uh official stretch it out enterprise you um are the president so tell us uh before we get into all of that tell us and i i ask all of my viewers to give us most of us are not from here right i'm not from here our right. producer's not from here no one is uh exclusively uh we had larry Aguilar. well excuse me our the majority of us aren't here. Uh, we do have some homegrown boys. Like uh, our producer Jesse uh, is is a Florida Fort Myers native, and and, <laughs> and uh, uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, but as far as you were concerned, you're not from Fort Myers or Florida native at all. So Correct. tell us your path to get here. I, I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. Okay. And I'm like, what am I doing here? But sometimes, <laughs> but like, how? How did you get here, and, and, and what have you done before this event that we're going to okay. talk about that you're putting on? Sure. Um, I'm from Southern Illinois, but I've been here for 13 years, so I'm almost considered a Florida, raise, <laughs> Florida native. Uh -huh. um, so I've been here for 13 years, and um, I'm just I love the beach. I love the Florida sun. I hate the snow, so moved mm -hmm. down here. And you're 23, so that's over <laughs> half your life. So yeah, exactly. I guess so. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, um, but no, I just love going to the, enjoying the Florida sun and just being outside and, you know, hanging out with the kids. And so, yeah. What, it, what, uh, what do you professionally, personally, I mean, like, what, uh, what field of, of employment do you work in? Um, I'm actually a realtor. Okay. And I've been doing that for about four years now. But prior to that, I was a manager at a medical office here locally, a dermatology office. Uh -huh. um, did that for 10 years. So I did that as soon as I moved down here. Did it for 10 years and just time for a change mm -hmm. in path. So I went into real estate just so I could have more of a flexible schedule and be able to do more things for the community, but also to be like a volunteer for the kids' school and just be more involved and have flexible hours. You are off the grid <laughs> uh, and really the the truth is the people that work that nine to five those people that that um, make sixteen dollars an hour twenty dollars an hour mm -hmm. uh, give that time labor that that it doesn't really work I, I'm, I'm a financial uh, advisor I've okay. done that for a while I've worked uh, consulting, I, I don't, I get up when I get up. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I decide where I want to be and how long I want to be there. And, and I've been able to give back so much. And looking from, I was a teacher for 10 years, so um, you said you were there uh, uh, working in an office environment for 10 yeah. years before you went um, as a realtor. The money's the same. My income mm -hmm. hasn't dropped from way up here to way down well, it's here. That's what you put into it. But you and you enjoy, and you yeah. you don't have to say, well, you need to be here by such certain terms, right. or, and um, um, that's very important, though. I didn't want to leave that off. You're right. a realtor. If you want to buy a house, you you're in Fort Myers or, or Lee, Lee County, County yep. exclusively. Lee Collier County. Lee and Collier County, come see my friend. <laughs> you're the you. first realtor we've awesome. had on the show. Yay. So uh, <laughs> if you have any things like that, uh, please plug that too. Thank so, you. Um, Thank you. Uh, Stretch it out. Official stretch it out. Tell us a little bit about that organization and and, and how you became the president, or okay. and how what you what uh, our viewers should know about sure. it. Sure. So stretch it out. Enterprise is a community based organization. Uh, we're not geared towards one charity per se. We are 
pretty much universal. So we'll help anybody and everybody who needs, you know, funding or needs help, uh, whether they just lost their house and they need furniture. Um, we've created such a following on social media that anytime somebody needs help, then all we have to do is put the word out there, and there's so many people that are willing to help that person out. So the way we look at Stretch It Out is we're kind of in, um, we're kind of, ugh, I don't know the word I want to use, um, we're inspiring other people to help others mm -hmm. is pretty much, we're giving them the avenue to be able to give back. And the way Stretch It Out came about is Everybody has the ability to stretch themselves further, whether it's their wallet, whether it's their time, whether it's their energy. A lot of people say they want to give back to the community, but they really don't know how to. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where Stretch It Out comes into is we create an avenue for people to give back. For example, I've had people who say they have furniture, they want to purge, but they don't <laughs> want to take it to places like Goodwill where they're going to turn around and sell it to people because there's mm -hmm. people out there that can't afford to buy Right. That kind of stuff. So they'll contact Stretch It Out Enterprise, and then we'll get that stuff to a good home for free. So, um, and it kind of works hand in hand with being a realtor because so many people buy furnished places down here, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's a vacation property. We're able to go in and say, listen, if whatever you don't want, if you don't want to turn around and sell it, give it to Stretch It Out Enterprise because we'll find a home. We work with many, many families who mm -hmm. are not well off that are in abusive situations and they've had to go into a home by themselves and they have no furniture. I've reached out to people and they have their kids sleeping on the floor and we're able to get them twin beds so that now they're on a, a new comfortable bed. So we're giving other people an avenue to give back to the community. That's awesome. I'm, how does someone contact Stretch It Out? I mean, I've... Uh, we have a huge presence on Facebook. Um, so we're on Facebook, Official Stretch It Out Enterprise. You can post on there. Um, you can reach out to me. My phone number is 239. I don't know. We don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, All right, scratch that. Scratch that. <laughs> nah, there are some people going to be gonna zoom <laughs> in. They're going to pause it. They're going to stretch it. Ooh, she's not married. I'm going to start dating her. No, uh, you, no we, we're going to give you email okay. address. Yes. Okay. That's the, okay. Let's go with the email okay. address and the website. Okay, so email me I don't want that. At... Don't, don't go spell. You got people. Calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning say, hey, they want to come out. Yeah, what you doing true. tonight? No, no, I, 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 no, 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 no. That's great. Yep. You want to so, contact, contact the show, and we'll get you in contact <laughs> with her email. But give us yes. your email address and your email website. Email is, is very easy. It's stretchitoutenterprise at gmail.com. Stretchitoutenterprise at gmail.com. Yes. Y'all thirsty jokers out there, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I saw what you, I saw your mind. No, um, we, um, how do, how often and how can people volunteer to deliver yes. things? I'm, I'm a Mason. Um, I know plenty of our Masonic brothers, okay. I'm an alpha man too. So plenty of our uh, brothers have pickup trucks. Um, Good. there are a lot of people in my village and that's okay. a part of what I do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that's the beauty of this is we partner with so many other communities and so many other nonprofits that you know people that I don't know. So that's, it's a perfect camaraderie. So I'm always looking for people to volunteer because I don't have a truck and I'm oftentimes needing people to pick up, whether it's a dresser or bed or anything like that. And I don't have that accessible to me at this point. Mm -hmm. We're one year into the nonprofit. So our goal is to have you know, maybe a big box truck or something like that. So we can pick up donations more easily, but obviously that comes with funding. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely we're always looking for volunteers to pick up donations. That would be great. Um, but we pretty much have one event every month. Um, last month we did bingo for breast cancer, uh, raised some money for a local realtor who was diagnosed with breast cancer, but she didn't have insurance, unfortunately. So we helped, yeah. you know, raise some money to help her family offset her medical bills. We had a great turnout. It was down at the Shriners Club here in Fort Myers. Uh, so we were able to raise about $6,000 for her. Um, this coming month, I know we're going to talk about an event that we're having for the community, but we often do clothing drives, food drives. Um, our goal is to have a big 5K, like a corporate challenge run, mm -hmm. probably next year. 
So that's kind of in the planning processes right now. Um, so we're always trying to brainstorm and come up with new ideas and you know, new, new events to get the community involved. And like I said, just inspiring others to help other people. How can someone join? Uh, do you meet regularly, monthly, or you have just exec board meetings and events? How can someone that says, I like that, I want to be a part of, stretch it out? Yeah, they just basically send an email, reach out to us on Facebook, and kind of just let us know what their goals are. And we'll definitely make, a, make it an important step to you know, meet with them and get them involved and plug them into where they need to be plugged into. That's awesome. I, um, I, I've, you guys have been around for a year, yep. and I'm upset that I haven't heard about your organization <laughs> for, before now. Um, but we've been, but that's the reason why we have this show. There right. are so many other great organizations that could yes. partner with you that have already been on the show. Yeah. Um, they have kids that need volunteer and community service hours. Yep. There are people that are watching this that can write a check, a stroke a check for mm -hmm. $100 to rent a truck for the day right. from Home Depot or something like yeah. that that yeah. could help. But a uh, closed mouth don't get fed. So right, right. our job is to, to tell everybody and again you can share this and we'll have the conversation and we'll share it more and more on our social right. media about the organization we're going to go to commercial right now okay. but we're going to definitely talk specifically about the event for tomorrow for okay. the uh taste of dunbar and where the inspiration for that came from and um I'm looking forward to getting my eat on. So <laughs> yes it's gonna be good. We'll be right back with uh Miss Melissa Benson talking about the taste of Dunbar, inaugural taste of Dunbar. <laughs> we'll be right back. Happy New Year and welcome to Tax Care. We are located at 2227 Fowler Street in Fort Myers. Come see us and get your huge refund. Have you ever been somewhere and felt like you didn't get the refund you deserve? Come see us. Have you ever been somewhere and felt like they ripped you off? Come see us. Have you ever gone somewhere and gotten your taxes prepared and then gone back to get your refund and they had moved? Come see us. Come see us and get your huge refund. We are waiting on you. Hablo en español. My family member was injured at an apartment complex. Do I have a case? The owners of apartment complexes have a responsibility to keep the residents and visitors safe from harm. So if you or a family member have been the victim of violence or shooting at an apartment complex, then yes, you may have a case. Give me a call. Hello, I'm James Middlebrooks with the Community Press. I'm here to let you know that we have a community paper that is just going all around Fort Myers, Florida. I have three other people that are working with me, and that is Veronica Barber, Pablo Williams, and we call him Bodie, who is our circulation manager. We are working for you. We want you to know that this is the community paper for us. We want to put stories about what's happening, good stories about what's happening in our community. We want to do things on the local level, on the state level, on the national level. But we are sincerely about the local level. But we are so happy that we can report to you 28 pages of good stuff. We're reporting about the churches around this community. We're reporting about the community, about the uh, fraternities and sororities. We're reporting about people who, a lady, just a lady just graduated from high school and she's 78 years old. I think that's remarkable. We are reporting about people who live the longest around here. We have a young lady who's 116 years and she's still around. We love what we are doing and we are proud of giving you the report to you from the community press. Thank you and have a great day. 
The City of Fort Myers has supported new and early stage businesses by providing a location and technical assistance to new business owners. Tenants also have access to free business consulting, professional receptionist office, free Wi-Fi, two conference rooms, a large training room, copier and fax. Many new businesses now operating successfully have had their start at the Southwest Florida Enterprise Center. If you have a business idea, call 239-321-7085 and come join us. Let me tell you, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, the words that you have so want to you to grow up and give up on your dreams. Hey, oh, hey, oh, so. Welcome back to CTV One's Pillars of Success. I'm W. Earl Spell, your host. Uh, we have Miss Melissa Benson, the president of Official Stretch It Out Enterprise. Incorporated, a local <laughs> non for profit. Um, tomorrow, we're going to get our grub on with the Dunbar Taste of, uh, I'm sorry, Taste, taste of, of Dunbar's Taste of Cultures. Um, tell me about the inspiration for this event and then let's talk about um, what people are going to expect and experience tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, we wanted to bring something to this community that was something positive where people can just come out. Um, obviously, it's on 9-11, so we understand that it's a very emotional day mm -hmm. um, for a lot of people. I know a lot of people were obviously affected by this, this day. Um, so we just wanted to bring something more positive to the community and just let them come out, enjoy food, enjoy some really good music, and just have that camaraderie. The community can come together and just enjoy their evening. This is in uh, Centennial Park Clemente or Park. Clemente Park. Yep. Okay, so Clemente it's right Park. on the corner of Henderson and MLK here in Fort Myers. Where, where, um, what are the details? What uh, 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 you told me, but tell yep. tell the Absolutely. people what's going to be what going to happen as far as entertainment okay. and food choices and things like that. So we've got a live reggae band which I know a lot of people love reggae. It's oh, just yeah. really casual. They can basically turn any song into a reggae, <laughs> a reggae song, so they that's do. fun. And it's, original! You know, you can, exactly, I'm you can like, dance. Uh, that song just... ain't original. That's, that's Whitney Houston's <laughs> song. I Will they Always Love You is Dolly Parton's song. You made it into a reggae song, but now original! <laughs> if I could stay... <laughs> I don't leave being the thing. That's the, the thing. Way. Everybody enjoys that. No, that's not original. <laughs> and I'm then you got to think about okay, what song is that really? <laughs> so we've got a live, live reggae band, and we've got a bunch of different food trucks and food vendors incorporating the different cultures. So whether it's Spanish food, whether it's Cuban, Puerto Rican, we've got um, soul food. We've got a girl who's going to be making oxtail bowls. Um, so we've got Caribbean food, we've got all kinds of good stuff, and then obviously we've got barbecue. So who doesn't mm -hmm. love barbecue? Chicken, yeah. pork, pulled pork, brisket, all that. So um, then the other thing too is it's open to the public, so obviously bring the kids down. We're going to have two really big bounce houses for them to just jump and get all their energy out before they go home and go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have snow cone trucks, ice cream trucks, uh, face painters, balloon artists for the kids. Um, and then we also have local business vendors who are going to set up and they'll be able to sell their, you know, whatever their product is and just kind of get their word out about businesses as well. So Now, are these, uh, um, this taste, is this something that uh, I've done tastes of before and you right. get uh, $30 and you get 15 tickets and you get a person to take it and they get a vendor? How, how do people... We're pretty well, much you? making it as easy as possible. No tickets involved. Um, it's a free admission, so you just come on into the park and find mm -hmm. out what, what food you want to try. The food vendor will charge outright for their food, um, you know, whether it's 3 5 $7 per plate. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have drinks as well, so you can get drinks. Um, so it's just, it's pretty low-key and non-complicated. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's... That's important. So I don't want somebody to bring two dollars and think that no, bring, they're gonna taste. Yeah, <laughs> they only have some oxtails with that two dollars. Yeah, they're gonna bring, you know, they're gonna have some Chinese food. They're gonna have some curry, go right. not it. No, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. you, 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 this is bring, a bring free some. event, but the food isn't free. Right, right. 
bring enough so you can try different cultures of the food. Um, and obviously for, you know, for the face painting and that type of thing, it's probably just going to be donation. But, you know, bring, bring some cash out and enjoy the evening. And that's why we made it free to the public just to, for free admission is we don't want to keep anybody out. Mm -hmm. So come and enjoy the music for free. <laughs> so, I mean, where can you go and do that? <laughs> nowhere. The, the only place you get free entertainment, I mean, it's really not entertainment, but it's entertainment is church. Right, right. <laughs> so besides church, you, you, yeah. everywhere else you go, you got to pay admission or cover charge, right. especially to hear a, a, a band, that, a specialty band, a reggae band yeah. with the stage and everything else. Now, is there a charge for the bounce house and things of that nature? Nope. Nope, we've got them donated. Uh, we've got amazing support with this community and uh, Top Cat Rentals provided to very large bounce houses for the kids. Mm -hmm. And we just want to promote them and they're a fairly new business and they wanted to do something, you know, inspirational to the community. And I mean, bounce houses usually cost two, three hundred dollars for an yes. evening. So Plus um, they're very, very generous. Yeah, very generous. And we appreciate their support and we'll promote them to no end. So that's awesome. Um, yep. What what do um, you say? It's going to be from six to ten. Mm -hmm. And sundown goes down about seven, about eight, eight fifteen ish, yeah, or something 8, like that. <laughs> um, security. Uh, yep. Well, what what uh, um, what kind of security things do you have in place? Um, to kind of back up with that, we do have we will have a beer truck there. We've got the Shriners, the Masonic Center. Um, mm -hmm. They are supporting the beer truck and. Uh, they're going to make some proceeds, and then they're going to donate some of the proceeds back to Stretch It Out Enterprise. But because of that, we do have to, you know, make sure that the the area that we're in is fenced off and secure. So we do have, it will be fenced off. We do have security officers that are going to be here. It's obviously an evening event. We want to make yeah. sure that everybody's safe and, you know, gets to their car safe and everything. So it will be, you know, we're doing the right things by getting it secured and, you know, because the whole point is to have something fun fun and safe for the community because that's that's huge and the uh i i I've, for years i've been here for 14 years uh for years you've had um events in centennial park and we had there was a rally uh, uh police uh rally for peace and uh, uh, Clemente Park mm -hmm. about a month and a half ago. Yeah. No violence, no drama, no anything. They had a barbecue, they had food, yeah. they had music. And um, I think it is, I'm glad that you guys chose to come to Dunbar to have this event because um, no matter what you read, um, the uh, there's not a death every four minutes right. in Dunbar. Right. There's not a, a, a shooting every 10 minutes mm -hmm. in Dunbar. There's no uh, gang fights every day or something like that. Right. The, 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 the media sensation, uh, uh, the sensationalized coverage about right. how uh, tough it is and you got to have bulletproof walls and all that stuff in Dunbar right. are greatly exaggerated. Yeah. And, and I, I appreciate you uh, bringing this event to Dunbar Absolutely, to get yeah. some people that think, you know, I need to put on five bulletproof vests to go over there for well, a few hours. Well, that's the thing is I've talked to so many different organizations in the Dunbar community and the um, Lee County Black History Society is mm -hmm. one of them. And they were overjoyed that we were going to be used in Clemente Park because that's obviously going to give them exposure as well. But there's so many groups of people down here that support. I've never seen such a supportive community. And that's why we want to bring something fun and positive mm -hmm. because there are a lot of people hurting. And that's all over Lee County, but I Correct. think because of the highlight that's on the Dunbar area, we want to make sure that people remember why they're here. Yeah. That it's a beautiful, you know, it is a beautiful community and everybody does support each other. Mm -hmm. And we need to pull together to continue that support. So, um, the events from 6 to 10, um, we do have a reggae, reggae band that's going to be there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pushing music, uh, pumping out that reggae. Yep. Um, 
is there anything that uh, the besides a little bit of cash that uh, are you still taking volunteers to watch the bounce houses? Is there any way that you still can um, have people sign up to help? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, we're always looking for people to volunteer their time. So whether it's overseeing the bounce house or helping the face painters out and making sure that they, you know, have water and, you know, not overworking themselves or just kind of perusing the crowd, making sure, like helping with trash. Um, you know, if there's any disabled, you know, guests that are there helping those, you know, people feel more comfortable. So definitely if you're wanting to volunteer, reach out to us, let us know, and we'll get you plugged into the right area. But we're also still looking for vendors. So if you, know, if you do have a food truck or any kind of food vendor, um, we're definitely still, we'll let any, any and all of them in. So um, just reach out to us. If you have a business that you want to showcase, whether it's jewelry or you know, perfume, or I know the Fort Myers Police Department, they're going to be there with the fingerprint kits for the mm -hmm. kids and um, the Black History Society is going to have a table set up with their information. So if you just want to get the word out about your business, contact us. We'll get you plugged in. We'll get you a table set up. Awesome. I, uh, I really appreciate you bringing it. And, and hopefully that park is a very nice park. It is. Um, we had a Christmas event. They actually put a Christmas tree up mm -hmm. uh, in 2015, and they're going to be doing more things and doing some drive-by, uh, drive-in movies, right. uh, things of that nature. Yeah, that's great. Uh, they have a, a lot of activities that are going to start using that park uh, to a, bring the like love and said, share it is the love. Beautiful. But and there's a lot of space. And the success from this event tomorrow, mm -hmm. and it's, it's already done, it's yes, already yes. spoken, a successful <laughs> event is going to open up other businesses and other uh, foundations to say, let's right, do it right. this time, let's do it this, let's do this, let's partner with these people and yeah. give. And that's uh, what it's all about is collaborate. If, they, if there is another business out there that wants to do something, because we're talking about Taste of Tice, we're talking about Taste of Lehigh, bringing these positive events to these locations that everybody talks about, so... And that's, that's great. I thank you, and I appreciate you guys for coming on and explaining what your organization is and what, how we can help and um, giving us the contact information. Give us the email address one more time. Sure. So the email address is stretchitoutenterprise at gmail.com. Uh, we also have a website. If you know anybody also, too, uh, we're looking for anybody that's able to volunteer in the technology world to help man our website. It's www.stretchitoutenterprise.org. Um, so we're always looking for people to help in our promoting industry mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously in the volunteer world too, so. And if you want to buy a house or selling your house. <laughs> Come to me, <laughs> reach out to me. The, I, I don't want to get your private number. You have a personal email for your your realtoring business? Um, they're all in the same. So if you email Stretch It Out Enterprise, it will, it will all come to me. So Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you for Thank coming you. on. Thank you for having me. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you guys out there tomorrow uh, at the Taste of Dunbar Taste of Cultures. And my wife loves oxtails, so when you said <laughs> a pot of oxtails, that's just... <laughs> I, yes. I, I got to bring some oxtails mm -hmm. home to, uh, mm -hmm. to the wife and the kids make sure they be able to get there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I got to wait another day. You got my mouth watering by the oxtails. <laughs> now I got to have some oxtails today. You got me hungry, man. It's too early to be thinking about some good. oxtails. That's a good thing. I hope everybody feels that way. <laughs> but uh, bring whoever the vendor for tomorrow. Bring a lot. Mm -hmm. Bring a lot. And mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, please, please, please share with your community, share with your church, share with your organizations. And call your family and friends and let them know that this event is going on. Um, until next time, we'll see you again. Be safe. We'll talk to you again next week. Let me tell you, hey, yo, hey, yo.